Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Anastasia, the Oily Mommy. And on this channel, we talk about oil tips and business tricks for women and mothers and all the fun, inspiring, empowering things and how you can just live your best life. But today, we're going to be talking about diffusers. Ooh. All right, I'm actually going to be unboxing these diffusers. This is the Pilot Midnight from doTERRA. Uh, this one is a easy rechargeable USB um, travel diffuser that you can put in your car or you can conveniently plug into your desk. And it has a 12 month warranty on it. It's up to eight hours of diffusion and rechargeable so you don't have to worry about finding a nearby plug. Okay, so this one is kind of the latest hype in diffusers in the essential oil community and then this is the beautiful wonderful rome diffuser this one is an ultrasonic diffuser and it's made with natural colorful ground stone each polished to its ultimate uniqueness with its powerful built-in rechargeable battery and charging dock the Rome Diffuser brings you an unprecedented wireless and portable aromatic experience, the perfect host for your essential oils in any room. So I'm excited about opening these up. I also have a essential oil from Opal House, Target, Target, a uh, super cute one as well. We're going to open that baby up and look at it and then a couple of my own personal diffusers here that we use in my house. If you watched my sleep video on how to get the best night's sleep ever and setting up your, your sleep sanctuary, I showed how I use this diffuser just in the onyx color. I have two of them because I love them. This diffuser for setting up, basically you can have it on in a complete 16 hour cycle where it will just pulse out some and and not. It'll miss out some and not. You can adjust the mist level on this one. You can see that knob there. It has a light to turn it on and off it's, and you can do different color lights. And then you can also adjust if you want your mist to go for an hour, three hours, six hours, or just full on automatic, which will just do the, do the through time pulsation of that diffusing of the oils. So that's one of my personal favorites, as well as the humidifier diffuser. This guy's a beast, he's huge. And we're gonna kinda take it apart and look at it and see how we can make these work and what rooms I recommend you using these diffusers in. All right. So let's jump on in and get started. All right, unboxing these diffusers. First up is going to be the Pilot diffuser. And let's see if I can, let's see if I can open this sucker up. Hmm, that is actually harder than it looks. Oh, look at this. We've got a little sticker down here. Boom, that definitely makes it easier okay already cool packaging I mean like props for the packaging here and this just all slides out in one piece oh I love this <laughs> for wherever life takes you all right this is the doTERRA pilot diffuser and it is little, it is compact. Look at that. It comes with one of these. Um, oh, that is perfect. It's actually already in it. So you don't have to, this includes everything that you need. It even, it even clips it in inside of here. All right, so you have this like Velcro, and then you have your little diffuser. So this guy is about the size of, 
Let's see, let's compare it. It's about the size of your Beats. It's actually smaller than your Beats headphones. These are the Beats, um, the wireless ones over the ear and that's the size of your of your pilot diffuser so that's a really good nice convenient size oh it's already charged look at that oh and i'm guessing that's telling me the battery is low or maybe it's telling me it doesn't have oils in it all right so opening it up a very small little reservoir for water this is supposed to fit into any cup holder in your car so we might have to try that out <sighs> the water line is to there where it says max let's see if we can get this the right side up where it says max and it has a little warning label inside of there that's always good and you have your your button um to get it started so it's pretty i mean it's pretty easy it's really definitely compact right here on the back side you're going to have your little entry point for your usb charger and i'm hoping and guessing yes they did they supplied it inside of this bag this bag is also it's a hard case but it's really cool because you have one two three four you have four full size, 15 ml size um, oil bottle holders, which will fit, which will hold any essential oil. Um, and then you have a little, little pouch here that you could probably put, I don't know, like a lip balm in there. That might be kind of fun. You could put a pen in there. <laughs> you can, it was to hold, it was to hold the cord, but you could use it for lots of other things. And I also love that all this material is recyclable material. So we are still looking out for the earth. All right, so you have your cord, you have your mini diffuser, you have your little um, USB jack if you wanna put it inside your car. Otherwise, you can plug this directly into your computer and you have a case for it to come in. So this makes it great for traveling. This will be my new best friend for travel. All right, next up, let's open another diffuser. Let's open this one from Opal House. All right, this is Target Opal House. It has a 300 ml milliliter capacity, two mist modes, six light settings, and on here you can see it says the features continuous and intermittent miss modes with auto shut off six light settings includes an ac power adapter all right so it has all the little benefits on the back the features six light settings two miss modes the 300 ml capacity started opening this up here you have your cord that will just plug directly into your outlet and then you have your instructions, which pretty simple and self-explanatory. We will, we will talk about it. You need water and you need oils. All right. So now I'm getting this guy out of the box. Very pretty, very stylish, but honestly, it's not that, it's not really any better in my opinion than, um, some of these other diffusers from doTERRA even like just other diffusers you can get diffusers on amazon whatever i wanted to get use this one because i have this one but it's from target opal house which is just a very pretty brand um this is a this is a good size diffuser <laughs> we can compare it to this definitely not one you're going to use for travel so, um, yeah, it's about, it's about the size of a Beats, your wireless Beats. Not one really for travel. It's going to be more of that you put it in a room and it, you, you style your room how you want it and it just looks pretty. All right. Next up. The Rome, Rome. 
Yes. All right, this one, I mean, this is just, you can already tell with just the seal that I have to break on here, which is almost sad that I have to do this. And I actually, I'm wondering how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this cord, right, or this plug right here, and I'm gonna slide it across. That was probably not the best way to do that. No. But you know what? It worked. All right. Oopsies. Let me turn this around so you can see. There you go. So this is a much bigger diffuser as I'm guessing we could have guessed from the box. But it is quite the experience. All right. Um, responsibly created with eco-friendly post-consumer recyclable resin, three ambient light options, and up to four hours of continuous runtime or eight hours of intermittent cord-free runtime. All right. So there you have it. Your Rome diffuser. Pull it out of the box. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. This is like solid stone. They were not joking when they said it's made out of recycled materials and stone because this feels like marble, like marble pillars to me. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely gorgeous and pretty simple to use. You have your power button. I'm liking that these just like work like this. And then you have your lights where you can run it. Go through all the different lights, purple and orange and blue and white, orange, blue. All right, so very cool, very beautiful. Like if you're looking for a beautiful diffuser that also is, that you can move to other rooms easily, this would be your diffuser. Now I have no idea what this is. I think this is your charging port. Yes, it is. All right, so this is your charging port for when you're charging and they also included the plug. But like it said on the box, this is gonna be four hours of continuous or eight hours of intermittent use. Uh, I'm trying to get those boxes out of the screen there. This is just such a, I am very impressed with this diffuser. This is my first reaction to it. So forgive me if you're like, oh my gosh, you're going on and on about a diffuser. But you know what? This is a beautiful diffuser. It's worth going on and on about. And I love that it is eco-friendly and we have used recyclable materials. It has your little recyclable uh, guide, a print on recyclable materials guide, really pretty and how to use doTERRA's Rome diffuser. And then it shows you your instructions. It breaks it down piece by piece, your water tank, where to drop your oils, the um, ultra magnetic pulsonic pulsation, blah, 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 I put in too many words in there, plate, your mist plate, your AC adapter, your charging dock, because this does come with a charging dock. So I would say so far I am, absolutely amazed and in love with this diffuser. All right, now we're going to test them all out, try them, and I am going to show you how to use a diffuser because sometimes it could be tricky. It's not, it's not tricky. You got this, it's so easy. All right, let's do it. All right, here we are with all of our diffusers. Oh. And we have the Beast here, which is our humidifier. Very large opening, it all has to be plugged in. It's just, it's just very big. Then we have the Stone Diffuser. Again, it has to be plugged in, but it can just be one that sits at your bedside. We have the new Rome Diffuser. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't even figure out yet. Oh, there we go. All right, all looks pretty similar. 
We have the Pilot. This is the one you could take in your car. And as you can see inside of each one, there will be a, either a water line. So there's your water line. Or there will be a max sign. Same thing in here, you have a water line. That is going to be your plate to uh, drop your oils. So we're gonna start by filling with water. I'm not gonna fill, I just kinda wanna see what these will do. That is the thing, you never wanna go over. This is the one I'm the most worried about. You never wanna go over, but you can put in less. <laughs> It'll just stop when it runs out. And then this is your really big one. The, the one that's a humidifier also. Whoop. So that can hold so much water. All right, so let's put these closer to each other. I'm going to drop in some oils. I'm gonna do a spa blend. Why not? Get my office smell like a spa. So this is eucalyptus. Doing about three to five drops in each one. And then we're going to do breathe. Three to five drops in each one. So your tiny little pilot diffuser here is going to be great for the car or for your personal use, but it actually goes up to 200 square feet. It, it, the capacity for it is it for a room or a space, 200 square feet, which is pretty big for a little, such a little diffuser. Sorry, now I'm doing lemon. All right, I think I've put the same amount in all of them. I'm going to put our lids on. This is for the pilot. I'm gonna to have to say already with just ease of use and being able to take these like anywhere. Um, I'm loving these little traveling ones. But also having a, having a designated diffuser for a designated space is always nice. All right, I'm going to do this so we can see the power that these will push off. So starting first with this diffuser, we'll get the lights going on it. Now with the humidifier diffuser, this one's really gonna push off your the most steam. Um, I can already start smelling it. it. Smells amazing. I have to check on this little guy. Okay, so this is the pilot, and this is your button. It only has one button. So pushing it one time turns it on. Two times keeps it on, but turns the light off. And then three times turns it all off completely. You can change the lighting settings on this and change the intermittent um, aspect with it by holding it down for a few seconds. So it's actually putting off a good amount. Now to get to I'll take this, this one, I'm trying to find, there we go. So there we have it, your humidifying diffuser, your Opal House Target diffuser, your Rome diffuser, portable by doTERRA, your stone diffuser by doTERRA, and your pilot diffuser. I have to say, this one, I think it takes the cake for me. It's compact, it's easy to travel with, it comes with its own travel case, it's stylish, and then I would say if you want beauty and ease, my next favorite would be this, the Rome. I like them all, what am I saying? I'm the oily mommy, of course. I love 
the diffusers. But hopefully that helps you make a decision. 275 square feet, 275 square feet, 200 square feet, 325 and 425. So that's the, the room size of capacity for, for these little guys. All right. And then of course, put your oils next to it. Get it all set up. All right, so now it officially smells like a spa in my office with these amazing diffusers that I have here. And I hope you found great insight and that helped you a little bit with picking out a diffuser or even with how to use a diffuser that you currently have. Put the water in to the water line, put the oils in, make sure that it's plugged in or has a, it's been charged, and start using your diffusers. Start getting that aromatic experience into your car or into your home, wherever it is, and enjoy the aromatic, beautiful aroma from those essential oils. Thank you guys. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and comment below with any more tips and tricks that you want to know about using oils or business as a mother, as a woman in this world. Take care. Until next time. Remember, you just have to open up the bottle. <laughs>